Welcome to my NHL 24 No Money Spent series, Hut Warriors. This is my Road to Div 1 series to start all the way in the back and work our way up towards Division 1, upgrading our team along the way based on performance. X-Factors and Icons will upgrade every 10 points they get, and the only packs we open the entire series are rerolls. Let's go ahead and find out who our first X-Factor is going to be. We have a goalie in Robin Lanner. We have White Cloud on defense and Carlson as a forward. And our first X-Factor for Hut Warriors here in NHL 24 is going to be Trevor Zegris. All right, I like it. Let's go ahead and throw all of these players into a lineup and take a look. Well, here is the starting lineup. We've got Morella. Didn't say it right. Carlson and Zegris. Bjorkvist, Forrester, and Surinen. This is going to be an interesting series. Robido, Robidoux, <laughs> I don't know, man. Hoekstra and Yukita, Macha, man, this is going to be interesting. Zigo and Vedova. On defense, we have Why Not, White Cloud, Tapio, Mori, uh, Magino, and Parker. And in net, we do have Robin Leonard. So this is going to be fun. Now, when it comes to our X Factors and our power up icons, Every time they get 10 points, I can bump them up a tier. I can upgrade the card, so Zegras will go up by 625 coins. And then when he gets his next 10 points, we'll do it again and again. This is going to work for every X-Factor and a power-up icon we get in the series. We only have one X-Factor right now. Next week, we'll be looking to add another. And the week after that, we'll look to add a power-up icon. Now, we're going to be starting out in Division 6, and we're going to play our first game here. If I win this game, I get a silver reroll, but if my opponent rage quits or we win by three or more, that turns into a gold reroll. If we win both games here today, we're also going to get our win streak reward, which here in Division 6 is an 82 overall choice pack. That would be a huge addition. Every week is going to work the same. We're going to play two games, hopefully get some better rewards and upgrade our players. Now, if you have any other suggestions to what you want to see in this series, let me know down below. And let's get started with our first game of Hut Warriors here in NHL 24. All right, it's time for the first game. We're playing Big Hippo PP. I can't make that up. What? All right, y'all. Wish me luck. Hopefully, the Warriors can get it done. Let's get some points for Zegris. And of course, if we win, silver reroll. If they rage quit or we win by three or more, it's a gold reroll. And we want to win both games here today for that guaranteed 82 player. The puck is dropped, and I don't have any of my settings set up. This is great. This is wonderful. I'm dumb. I'm not even on the right camera angle. All right, that's better. Send it across, and it's 1-0! Morella gets the first goal of Hut Warriors here in the... Oh, my God, Zegers at the point. But Morella gets the first point as a Hut Warrior here in NHL 24. Absolutely huge and a great start for the team. Now, what's fun about Hut Warriors is that we're using these really low overall cards. We use who we can get. We use whoever we are able to get our hands on. And it ends up leading to a lot of gems and a lot of great storylines in the series as we take a shot there, saved by the goalie. But we've learned that like players like Caden Gooley, Tim Heed, they are absolute legends on the channel because of how they perform in Hut Warriors. He's going to push here. We're going to win it back. Yep. And then we're going to set up play and we're, we're going to make it 2 nothing here. We're going to make it 2 nothing right now. Oh my God, what a save. And he couldn't score on the rebound. Great chance though. Send it across, and oh my god, what a save. I, I don't get to see anyone's names. I just see big hippo pee, pee everywhere. See, the problem is I can't see my own player's names anymore. It just tells me, like, my, my gamer tag the whole time, or, or my PSN ID, and I, I don't like that. I want to know who I'm playing with. I got to get these names right. I'm also playing on total controls, I just learned. I don't even have it on skill stick. I didn't switch it. This is not good. Got to wait till the end of the period, but... Definitely going to screw me up a little bit, I think. Uh, a couple of changes for sure are going to be needed in this series already. Here we go. We have a chance. Send it across. Scores. I don't even know who it is. Hoekstra gets the goal, and it's 2-0. 64 overall getting the goal. I love it. Also, if I'm saying any of these players' names wrong, please correct me down below so I can say it properly so I'm not saying them wrong the entire series. Please help me. Maybe one last chance before the end of the period. Oh my god, the period ran out. No. It should be 3 0. Ran out of time. Hoekstra had a goal here, but we're doing pretty well so far after the first. Your stats after one, heavily in our favor. Let's go ahead and change over those settings. I do not want to be on total control. Put me on skill stick now. As for Big Hippo PP, they've got Phil Kessel, C. Brooks Orpic, Alex Burrows, Henry Richard, Spurgeon, Pollock. Looks like an all at least gold team. A couple of the MSPs at the lower uh, overalls. So. Not a terrible starting squad, but 
Definitely better than our team. Seagrass gets absolutely robbed, man. That would have been awesome if we could have scored there. Would have loved to have seen that. Let's see if we can set up a Michigan. With normal controls, I'm not using total control for this. There's no way. Maybe you get the goal and the rebound? Oh, man, we need Zegers to get a point here. Try another Michigan, because why not? Nope, that didn't work. Okay, that's in. I mean, that wasn't even intentional, but I'm going to take it. 3 nothing. Zegers does indeed get an assist. His second point of the game. We're eight points away from his first upgrade. I'll take that. Let's go. Oh, Zegers scores. And that's 4-0. That might be the rage quit. A third point for Trevor Zegers. I love it. Now, in the past, we've done if a player gets a hat trick or four more points, it's an automatic upgrade. To slow down the progression this year, we're not doing that. But a three-point game from Zegers. We get our first victory here in Hot Warriors in NHL 24. And that means we get our first pack of the year coming right up. We've also just jumped into Division 5. So we did start in 6. We're all the way up to 5 already. So we play our next game. If we win, we'll be close to D4. First pack of the entire year. Obviously, no upgrades to make to the team, but we're going to get to add one player from this pack. We only get to add one per pack to make sure that the team stays, you know, somewhat the same after every game. So here we go. What are we going to get? Please give me something crazy to start off the year. Give me like Zegris' base card. That'd be a good start. We get Brian Hallinan. Not making the team, but we're guaranteed an 80 or better. And we get Philip Forsberg. I'll take that. We get our number one right-handed player added to the team. Let's go. All right. Well, Forsberg slots in on that first line. We move Morella down. Sirenengus moves down. And Robodogus moves down. And now we're uh, we're ready for our second game. Hopefully, we can pick up another win. If we do, guaranteed 82 overall player added to the team. And we get another pack for winning as well. Season 5 to Hut Warriors has been off to a hot start. Let's see what happens here in game number 2. We have our game. It's against Power Hydra 79410. And he's got a stacked team. Uh-oh. I love the fact that you can see Hut Warriors on the on, along the boards there. Super cool to see. But this is probably going to be a tough game. I've seen some great players. You know what I didn't do is change my strategies. Uh-oh. That's fine. Here comes Why Not. And he's got Zegris, and he can't put that one home. Great. That was a good start, but here we go. A little two-on-one. Can't really get that pass through. We played good defense there. Send it across now. Oh, my God. It almost didn't go in, but Bjorkvist banks it off the post and in. It's a one nothing game. I waited. I was waiting for it. It just didn't go in immediately, but I'll take it. One zip. Forsberg draws another penalty. That's the second draw of the game already. It's a good debut, and we'll see if we can capitalize here again on the power play. I think we're going to go for a push here. Make sure we get possession. All right, well, we got possession. Okay, well, it almost didn't work out. And now we can just walk in. Oh, man, that's a good poke. I think that's Quinn Hughes out there, which is going to be tough to get around. He's so fast. There it is. Perfect. Forster banks that one home. It is 2-0. Assisted by White Cloud and Bjorkvist. No points for Zegers yet, but we have scored two power play goals and we're up to zip. What a spin! Oh my god, imagine that goes. Unfortunately, a good save by the goalie. All right, that'll do it for your first period. A great first here for the Warriors. We're up to zip. I accidentally just skipped the stats and his team, but we'll take a look at that uh, right now, actually. I'll pause it. That way you guys can see it. I don't want to miss that. So here's what we have so far for stats. Let's take a look at this guy's team. I accidentally pressed the back button here. So uh, that's us. That's our team. He has 82 Latang, 82 Henschke. There's Lettinen at 84. He's got Smith 84. Burroughs 82. Stamkos 83. Uh, okay. What's uh, this? Pedersen is 84. Quinn Hughes is 85 X Factor. Makari has got the pre-order card. He's got the new Bedard and he's got the MSP. And uh, Marie Philip Poulin. So he's got a good team. I didn't have a chance to take a look at the goalie. Hopefully we can do that uh, at the next intermission here. Zegris brings that in. We got Carlson going in after it. Zegris is kind of just open. Not really open. Now he is. And he can't put that one home. I am struggling to score with uh, T Ziggs here. Zegris, what a shot. Makes it three zip. A snipe from the slot. And that could be the game right there. An absolute missile from the middle. That is indeed going to do it for this game as we go 2-0 in this episode of Hot Warriors. Let's go get our packs. 53 points for the victory. That's a nice jump up for us as we move close to Division 4. 
we do get our guaranteed 82 player pack and we get our uh, gold reroll for that one as well. So let's see who the goalie was there. He made a couple of good saves. He had Kristen Campbell in that. Interesting. Let's go get our packs and add a couple new players to the team. All right. Well, first off, we get our guaranteed 82 pack. No matter what, we get to choose one of these players to add. Uh, we get Jeremy Swayman, who I don't think will add a goalie. We already have a goalie in Robin Leonard. We're going to keep him for now. We also get Ella Shelton for left-handed defenseman. Defense definitely needs some help. We also get Joe Pavelski, who'd be a good righty, and Jamie Benn on the left side. So really, it comes down to who we want to add to the team here and what position we want help the most in. Left side and right side seem to be doing all right already. I know Pavelski can play center too, right? He has 75 draws, so not really, not terrible. And then we have Ella Shelton at 82. Uh, good skater. Not the best stick checking as a defenseman, whereas Jamie Benn's very good defensively, not a great skater. I think we're actually going to go Jamie Benn in this position. Going with Benn, I can put him on the PK. He has good stick checking. He's a decent size. Ella Shelton, unfortunately, only 5'8", and her stick checking is bad. I don't need that in a defenseman. So Jamie Benn, welcome aboard, and we get a guaranteed 80 or better in our next pack. It could be as high as an 86. It could be an icon. We don't know. Let's find out who we're going to be adding here today. We get Marty McSorley which is a funny card to pull. It is a base icon. And we get Kevin Fiala. So the left side gets absolutely stacked after this. Fiala and Ben, welcome aboard. Next episode, we're definitely going to have to focus on getting some defense, I think. Well, after we added uh, a lot of forwards here today, let's put uh, yeah, Yukita back in here. So there's the team after the first episode of Hut Warriors. Zegris has four points so far, so we can keep track of it right there. We're going to be able to see exactly how this goes. So Zegris with four points. Six points away from his first upgrade, and here's the rest of the team. It's looking all right. We're doing well. We're 2-0. Zach Whitecloud, our only goal defenseman. Like I said, we need some defense next episode. And so far, Robin Lanner has been absolutely perfect. Not a single goal allowed. For now, that's going to do it for this episode of Hut Warriors, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Have a great night, and I will see y'all next week with another episode. I'm going to go ahead and grind some rush and get some extra players just for, you know, packs for the future. I'm not adding anyone to the team, but for now, I'm out of here. I love y'all. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Stay frosty, guys.